Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update on my rolling project wax. This is a project pan that I have 10 candles in at a time and I'm just rolling through them until I get to a comfortable place in my candle collection. So today I have quite a few empties and have quite a few updates and a few new candles that I'm gonna roll in. So let's go ahead and just get started. So I'm gonna address a few things. First off, yes, I have braces. I only have four teeth right now. Um, it's just a trial period and on Monday, which is in a few days for me while I'm recording this video I'm going to get the whole mouth of braces and I'll have them for about six months So just getting that out of the way if you see them, that's what they are. I got purple. They look kind of funny anyways um, Second thing is we just had winter storm Yuri pass through Texas here and my house We lost power for about three days and so these candles have a lot of progress and it's a lot of kind of shoddy progress because we pretty much lit candles for like four or five, six hours. Um, we tried to be good about them and kind of replace them if they were getting too hot or too sooty or something like that. But really we weren't paying attention to them. So some of these have like some weird progress, some tunneling, some discoloration. So if you see that just, you know, ignore it basically we used my entire candle collection throughout the house i had some going in my bathroom in my bedroom downstairs in the kitchen so we just it was really a good time to be a candle addict because all of my candles pretty much lit up the whole house um but yeah if you see like weird progress on them i'll kind of address it as we go um but that's probably why so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the ones that i finished so the first one that i finished this last month is the glade sultry amber rhythm i have the packaging right here um this was one of the ones that i had going in my bathroom and i'll show you the progress i started it at fully unused at the beginning of february and right now i'm filming this on february 20th i burned it all the way down the wick like toppled over and yeah i burned the crap out of this this really was in my bathroom the whole time while we didn't have power and yeah it just burned all the way down so this is an empty another empty that i had going for a very long time it started out my project use it up and then it rolled into my project wax so this is blessed pumpkin pecan waffles this candle is such a strong thrower so it was kind of hard to have this burning for longer than a few hours um but i actually finished this before the whole winter storm thing and here's some progress lines for you guys this is where it started this is um at the beginning of february and then it burned all the way down um one of the wicks went a little longer than the other i try to get it going as far as possible and it did do a little bit of sitting but only at the end and pumpkin pecan waffles is such a good scent. If you like kind of a mapley or a caramely kind of scent, it's amazing. I will probably get another one of these next fall when it comes back out. And yeah, pumpkin pecan waffles is definitely a staple. Another one that I finished before the whole storm thing is DW Homes Christmas Morning. This is basically just a um, coffee candle. And progress lines, it started about right here. And then this was a few weeks in and then i burned it all the way down it really only had a few more burns after last month's update and it actually it uh, the tunneling kind of melted near the end so this was a really good candle i would consider getting it again if i found it um it was literally 7.99 for this huge candle so i would definitely think of getting it again um but yeah those are the three that i finished up so i'm just going to go ahead and get into what's going to replace them so to replace the single wick glade candle i am going to put in the our own candle company tropical paradise candle this was in my project use it up last year around the summertime it's kind of a hibiscus um very floral summer scent and i literally hate it because i hate florals but we're about halfway on this and it was really hard for me to get any progress out of this in the last project use it up I've kind of decided that I'm just going to leave it in the bathroom and let it <laughs> just let it burn in the bathroom for a few hours like every other day and just try to get use out of this because I really don't like floral scents. So I bought this when I was in college, kind of not really thinking about it. Um, and that's how I figured out that I don't like florals. So I just went ahead and marked it where we're at and hopefully I can get through this one fast because I don't like it. <laughs> 
Okay, and to replace the coffee candle, I am going to bring in another coffee candle. I really, really love burning coffee candles, especially when I'm trying to have like a productive weekend or something like that. So this one that's gonna replace it is White Caramel Cold Brew. And this is from last spring. I actually got it at um, SAS 2020 summer, yeah. White Caramel Cold Brew is probably one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. It is so amazing. It's right about at this little white line and I can't mark it with my Sharpie, so I'm gonna write, do it right below. But it did tunnel a little bit because we did use this during the storm. So yeah, it wasn't like perfect. And this one's like very city. I don't know what it is about this one that makes it so city, but it is. Oh, look at that. Okay, I had a progress line on here. I think I started it like a week back whenever I finished the, um, the DW Homes one. So it was right about here when I first started it and now it's a little bit below that white line. So that's good to know. Good thinking past Victoria. So yeah, if this one comes out again, I would definitely recommend um, getting it if you like coffee candles, but coffee with a lot of caramel and milk in it. That's like how I like my coffees. Where did the lid go? Oh, and the lid is super pretty. The next one that's getting replaced is pumpkin pecan waffles and i decided to go with hot cocoa and scream it's really like just a chocolate scent um and it's going to be kind of hard to measure the uh lot progress on this one because you can't see through the packaging but this is another one we burnt during the storm so it has a little bit of tunneling on the edge but i'm sure that'll go away pretty quickly so i'm just going to go ahead and mark it where i think it is which is a about a little less than halfway. Marking it's literally not gonna do much. Um, but we're gonna say it is right here on this top of the screen. So that's where it's starting, top of the screen. I might actually have to do that. It smells so good. It literally smells like hot cocoa. So this was actually really nice to burn um, during the storm because we were very lucky and we had hot water. So we had a lot of hot cocoa in those like three days. And this one was like really good and yummy. So let's go ahead and go through the ones that I have a little bit of progress on. The first one is strawberry pound cake. We burned this during the storm. So it has a tiny, actually, I don't even think it pulled out. <laughs> enough to have any progress on it um here's what it looks like a little bit of tunneling went on and it kind of cracked in the middle if you can see that which i assume happens in cold weather because all of the candles were cracked like that um but it'll probably be fine once i burn it again um so this one really doesn't have any progress to share here's the line that it started at um, a couple weeks ago when i introduced it and yeah no progress yet on this one we did burn it but it doesn't really have a lot of progress so the next one is cinnamon caramel swirl and this one i'll show you guys the progress lines so right here was where i entered it into the project wax these two lines were in my project use it up um, so we did get a little further and i'm going to go ahead and mark this so i've determined that i will not be ever getting this candle again it is just too caramely it's like it's too much it's so strong and I'm not always in the mood for caramel, so I'm gonna try and get through this one. Um, it kind of smells like white caramel cold brew, but way more caramel, so yeah, I won't be purchasing this one again, um, but I am glad to have gotten a lot of progress on it, and it kind of did like tunnel a little bit. There's some wax sticking to the sides. Again, that's just because we burned it during the storm. The next one I have is pumpkin donut shop. I did get a lot of progress on this one last month. This is literally one of my favorite candles it is so yummy even my mom commented on it um, when we had it burning downstairs during the storm she said she really liked it so yeah um definitely got a lot of progress on this one mm, it smells so good the next one that i have that's probably going to be done by the next time i burn it is peppermint sugar cookie and again a lot of people said this but the wax kind of turned murky after burning it for so long um and we're right about here on the candle. It's literally probably have has one burn left in it. So yeah, this one will be gone very soon, but I'm not worried about it. I enjoyed it while I had it, especially while it was burning upstairs in my room. And yeah, it's like a very minty kind of peppermint candle. It was, it was really nice. I don't think I would get it again just because I don't 
really like peppermint candles like they're good but they're not my favorites so so the next one i have is the goose creek white icing cinnamon roll this one um i'm gonna go ahead and mark it because the wax kind of stuck to the sides a little bit so you guys can see where it's at so it did get a little further down this was one of the ones we had burning downstairs during the storm so it kind of changed color it it's discolored a little bit because it was burning for probably too long but it doesn't smell bad or anything oh my gosh can i get the lid off Ooh. it does smell a little burnt oh that's kind of sad so maybe i'll have to um pour out or cotton ball the wax that's kind of discolored just to get rid of it um, but I did get a lot of progress on it. Um, this one is a very bright candle. So if you ever need it to light up your room or anything, um, these Goose Creek candles provide a lot of light. So we had this one going in the bathroom just to like have a lot of light going. But yeah, got a lot of progress on this one. Hopefully I can get out that kind of like murky wax because it does smell a little burnt. Okay, moving on to the single wicks. Um, right here we have pumpkin spice latte. This one has a lot of soot and again it tunneled, which the single wicks tunnel very easily so burning it during the storm and stuff was probably a bad idea but it was really good. We used the single wicks for the bathrooms and let's see if I can get to where it's at so we can see some progress lines. So this is the progress from the last couple of updates pretty steady progress honestly just gonna keep working through this one it really just smells like coffee it doesn't really smell like pumpkin spice so it's totally fine for me to like burn it right now not during like fall and then we have peppermint marshmallow probably one of my favorites um this is a peppermint that i like and this one we also burned downstairs and it was tunneling before all of this anyways the single wicks always tunnel for me and near the end all the wax kind of like melts i don't know what that's about but that's usually what happens so I'm gonna mark where it's at. Pretty big dip. I have some pretty big progress going on this one. Um, that's because I really like this scent. So I was burning it a lot um, before the update and everything. So this one will probably be gone soon, which is kind of sad because I really like this scent. I hope they come out in a uh, three wick next year for the Christmas time because I will definitely pick it up. But yeah, that's it for Peppermint Marshmallow. So that's everything for my project wax update and yeah I made a lot of progress on stuff kind of like involuntarily um, and we have three new candles in for this month so I'm really excited that I'm going through candles at kind of a steady rate of pretty much two three wicks and one single wick every month that's kind of been what's going on I think it's just because the Glade ones go so quickly. Um, so I don't think it'll be like that for the rest of the time, but it is nice that I'm getting through some uh, three wicks so that way I can, you know, dwindle down my collection. So I was at 42 candles at the start of this and now I'm at 38, 37. The goal is to get down to 20 or less. So really just like cutting my collection in half and then I can start buying candles again. I do have a few candles that I can kind of exchange if I want to go and get some spring ones. So yeah you might be seeing that from me soon but that's everything for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you guys in the next video bye